The future of a former Colts linebacker is now in the hands of a jury. Eyewitness News reporter Rich Van Wyk has been in the courtroom all morning for the trial of Josh McNary. So, Rich, what did the attorneys say during their closing arguments? They said plenty, Scott. Before jurors began deliberations, they heard two hours of intense, passionate closing arguments from the prosecution. McNary is a wolf in sheep's clothing who brought a drunk woman home from a bar. He was going to take what he wanted. Defense attorneys telling the jurors that McNary is the victim of a confused young woman who drank too much, mixed alcohol with medicine. It clouded her memory and perception of what occurred that night. The former Colts player is charged with rape, confinement, and battery. McNary insists the sex was consensual. The pair met at a bar, kissed and hugged on the way to his apartment, in the lobby, in the elevator, in the living room, before moving to the bedroom. The woman, though, testified that she pleaded with him to stop, fought him off, drew blood by putting deep scratches in her, his back with her fingernails. Deputy Prosecutor Courtney Curtis telling jurors she tore the crap out of him to get out of there. They listened to a second time from a phone message the woman made from her cell phone shortly thereafter. You can hear her tearfully saying, someone please help me. Defense attorney Ed Schrager pointed to consistencies in the woman's testimony and statement, saying her story has been a work in progress. Her story is evolving. McNary's status as a football player in the NFL and also a West Point graduate has come into play in court, also has race. McNary is African-American. The woman is white. We will be waiting for the jury's verdict. Scott? to follow the uh, McNary rape trial and as soon as the uh, jury comes back with a verdict we'll bring it to you here on channel 13 and of course on social media and WTHR.com. Well you've heard about the Ashley Madison cheating website being hacked that's prompted some painful conversations for couples. Coming up next you'll hear from a woman who has dealt with adultery, stayed with her husband and written a book about it. She'll join us next.